Welcome back to Wisdom's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making sailing pizza. Really easy boat recipe and really delicious. All you need to make this is a baking dish that's relatively flat and gives you a lot of surface area, flour, yeast, salt, sugar, and any kind of toppings that your heart desires. Of course, the first thing we need to do is prepare the crust, and Herbie's the expert on that. So we keep our flour in mason jars because it keeps the bugs out of it, and it keeps it fresh. So you're just going to pour it in so it just fills the bottom nicely. You don't want too much because then your pizza is going to turn into a loaf of bread with a lot of toppings. Then you're going to sprinkle a little bit of yeast. Now you don't want too much yeast because you don't want this bread to really rise very much because it is pizza dough. And just a smidge of sugar. And lastly, some salt. So now we're going to add the water. And if you notice, I measure nothing. So what you do is you just want to know the ratios. A lot of flour, a little bit of yeast, a small amount of sugar, and then a tiny amount of salt. And I always taste the dough before I call it a day because whatever the dough tastes like is what your pizza crust is going to taste like. So I'm just adding just a smidge of water, just a little trickle, just to get this all mixed up and make it into dough. So once you have your dough mixed up, you just want to give it a little taste test. Now it's always easier to add more of an ingredient than it is to take it out. So that's why at the beginning I add just very little of salt and sugar, because it's always easier to add a little more if it still needs it. So you're just going to knead it up until it uh, actually gets less sticky. So right now, it's stuck to your fingers, you're just going to keep kneading it until it becomes less. And when you knead it, what you're actually doing is mixing the yeast and everything around to all the fresh gluten and all the good sugar. That way it can ferment. You just want to pick up any little stragglers that might be left behind somewhere too. I usually knead for between five to 10 minutes. So it's a good bit of a workout. You'll notice the change. Like it goes from this like goopy goober stuff to dough. So at this time, it's starting to look a lot more like dough. So you just got to just get it off your fingers pretty much. And then you're just going to leave it balled up in the middle of the pan. Get off. <laughs> get off. There you go. <laughs> Good little ball of dough. <laughs> you're just going to leave that there. And you're just going to cover it with a towel. So at this point, we have our little dough ball covered. It's in the middle of the pan, and we're gonna let it proof for about 20 to 30 minutes until it rises. While our pizza dough is proofing, I'm gonna now take this opportunity to prepare our toppings. We're gonna start with an onion. The best part about pizzas is you can put whatever toppings you want. My favorite topping happens to be onions, so I'm gonna be putting a lot. <laughs> I read somewhere that if you chew on your tongue while cutting onions, it helps, and it actually does. So we've got our onions ready. I'm just gonna put them off to the side. I just use half an onion, because there are only two of us and it's a really small pizza. I always like a meat on my pizza, and in the past we've done little pepperoni slices, we've done slices of sausage, but today the meat we have on the boat is Spam! So we're gonna do a Spam pizza. Now the key with this is, since it's a pizza, you're going to be cutting really thin slices so it doesn't take away from the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to cut them into smaller strips now. Ready to go on our pizza. Kirby likes mushrooms on his pizza, I do not. So we're only gonna be putting mushrooms on half of the pizza 
but since these mushrooms are cut pretty thickly, I'm just gonna make them a little thinner. Those are the only ingredients that I have to actually prepare. Now we just have to wait for the pizza dough to keep proofing. We had our little ball of joy sitting in a warm place to proof for a while. Now remember, you're making pizza dough, not bread. So it's not going to balloon up like if you're making bread. So now we're going to spread it out and make it all nice and thin. To make life easier, take a little bit of flour and sprinkle it on it and around it. So that flour I sprinkled in is so that it doesn't stick to me, because otherwise it'll stick to me, and I don't like that. Just gonna spread it out, super thin. It's a beard. So now we're just stretching it out like if it's some shaggy old skin. <laughs> Hanging from your arms. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so now at this point, a little secret, you take some more yeast and you're just going to sprinkle it right on the edges. And that's going to help that area rise and you're going to tuck that into the dough. I'm just going to pat that in, that way it knows it's home. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to start with the tomato sauce and just pour it on there. Take the back of a spoon, spread her around. Next comes the most important part, in my opinion, the cheese. We're just using four quesos. I'm gonna sprinkle it lightly around and make sure it's nice and even. So now that the pizza's ready, we put it into a cold oven. So the reason we don't preheat the oven is preheating the oven takes fuel. And we don't have much fuel, and the more we burn preheating is the less we have to burn while cooking. So we put it in to a cold oven with the heat with the fire on high. And as the oven warms up, it also gives the dough another chance to proof just rise just a little bit. So that lets it rise just a little before it gets so hot that it kills all the yeast and just bakes it. So we have it on high, we get it up to between 350 to 400 degrees wherever the fuel lets us get to. Pretty much just the highest heat you can do on your oven of the boat. After about a half hour in the oven, oven reached 400 degrees, pizza looks perfect and it's ready to serve. I'm allergic to amazingness. If you have a favorite pizza recipe that you'd like to share with us, please do in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.